there and welcome back to Kitten School. When we left off in the second video, our little Foxy here had been working through his initial fear of people and he was starting to become a lot more relaxed. Now see here how his ears are forward and his eyes are kind of slightly blinking? This means he's not feeling nervous that we're approaching him. And you can see from this clip that was taken a few weeks ago when he first came to kitten school, his ears were flat and to the side, meaning that he was feeling, at that time, fearful and nervous. You can tell so much about a cat's emotional state just by the position of their ears. In the first video, we started out Foxy's socialization using the social box, which was placed in a busy part of the house where he could stay for short periods of time. He'd get pets and treats, and he'd take naps, and this just got him used to being around people. And after a while, he learned that no one was going to hurt him. Once Foxy had become more comfortable being in the social box, we started to hold him in our lap, and we'd pet him very gently and talk to him, and usually he'd get so relaxed he'd start to purr and fall asleep. But although Foxy was starting to become relaxed when we were holding him, he was still skittish when he was on the ground and he would run when we approached him. Here he got loose during a training session and ended up hiding under the bed. This is why it's best to have your socialization sessions in a closed room, preferably one where there's no furniture for the cat to hide underneath. In this clip, I'm using treats to entice Foxy to approach me. So when he does, he gets the treat, he gets a nice pet, and then I just let him go. And then we do it again, and we repeat this many times. Now I'm letting Foxy approach me on his own. If he wants the treat, he's going to have to jump up on that sofa and get it. There he goes. What a good boy. This is the first time that he'd actually jumped up on the sofa, so it's kind of a big deal. And then even when he's done with the treat, he still stays up on the sofa to let me pet him. So this is great. After a few weeks of working together, Foxy's kind of used to me. So whenever I have a friend over, I ask them to hold Foxy because I want him to get used to other people. This is important for when we go through the adoption process. Okay, so let's do a quick recap. First, we started with sessions in the social box to let Foxy get used to being around the family. Then we started interaction by holding him and giving gentle cuddles and pets, along with treats. Then we worked on approaching him when he was on the floor, using treats to discourage bolting. And last, we again used treats to encourage Foxy to approach us all on his own. And in between, Lots of love and cuddle time. It didn't take too much time for Foxy to decide to become our friend. After a little socialization work, he is ready to be adopted. Thanks for watching, and please leave any questions or suggestions for future videos in the comment section.